As COVID infections increase, the message from the CDC remains the same. Get vaccinated. The shots are proven to be the best protection against the virus and your best way to stay out of the hospital, but they're not right for everyone. HC 10's Monica Coleman joins us now live in studio. There is a new drug uh, that is giving hope to people with autoimmune issues. Monica. Yeah, well, it's called EvuShield, and doctors at UC Davis Health say it is an alternative to the vaccine for people who can't get the shot because their immune systems are weak enough that even if you give them the vaccine, they may not respond well to it. So EvuShield is back on to plan, excuse me, backup plan to make sure there's enough antibodies on board to prevent infection or disease. The experimental drug can be used after somebody has been vaccinated, and it can also be used after someone has had COVID to prevent future infection. It's available for people young as 12 years old. UC Davis Health has administered the shot to several patients and many are receiving their second dose because their first was given six months ago. But Evie Shield is not FDA approved. So I asked Dr. Blumberg with UC Davis why that is and what is the risk of patients looking for the drug? Just haven't gone through the formal review process that can take a year or even longer um, for them to, to do. There's a lot of paperwork involved, several meetings, um, where they need to um, cross the T's and dot the I's, um, and that, that usually takes a year or longer. Dr. Blumberg says, if you think you could benefit from LV Shield, then you need to contact your doctor. And they can make a referral, and UC Davis is taking patients right now. I remember how, you know, in the early days of COVID, when, you know, we were hearing about vaccines and people were like, let's get these things going. Yeah. And the process takes a long time. Yeah. The FDA just doesn't stamp everything. But I think it's important to know as we go deeper into this pandemic, we learn more about COVID-19. It starts to reemerge, subvariants, this, yeah. that, and the third. Doctors are learning too, and these new shots are going to help people who need it the most. Okay, good yeah. stuff. Thank They've you. Got for to looking try at them out, not just give us anything. Right. Absolutely.